गेम टाइम Normally, I cover inexpensive eShop games that don't meet my already low expectations. This is not one of those games. This game is fun as hell. One Strike was released on the eShop on June 8th, 2018 and was published slash developed by Cubic Games. I got it on sale for 49 cents and it has since gone up to $5. And damn it, both prices are well worth it. One Strike is meant to be taken literally, as you take down your opponent with one hit. You have to time this just right because they can easily get the upper hand and then it's game over. This game isn't easy at all. I definitely had trouble getting the hang of it, and I was playing on easy mode. When you start the game, you're greeted to an awesome soundtrack, and a bunch of options. You can do single player, which lets you do a survival mode called The Only Life, an arcade mode, self-explanatory, team duel, which is a three-on-three -three mode, and a tournament mode. If you need more practice, like me, I would suggest playing arcade mode. It gives you five lives per duel. I think it's a bit too many lives, as it can become a bit of a chore once you've taken down several enemies, but again, good if you need to get the hang of the game or a certain character. Versus allows you to go one-on-one -on -one against a friend. Accolades shows you who you beat the game as, in what mode, and on what difficulty. And the controls are funny because, literally, this is it. The roster is rather small, but I wasn't expecting a Smash Ultimate kind of roster for a game at this price. Each fighter does have their own unique skill set, so you do need to be sure to choose the right one. Some might seem easier than others, but if the AI blocks enough, it really doesn't matter how far or close your range is. I do think that Hangaku is good for beginners, like me, but I am partial to Oni because he's… well, an Oni. The game is very short with no story to speak of, but that doesn't really bother me too much with a game like this. I look at this game like I do with Tetris 99 or Kid Trip. It's a fun game to pick up and put down just to decompress. It's definitely not looking to be an epic. I win and I conquer Japan, or I lose and I get revenge. The only issue I have with this game is that it seems like the art style was made more with handheld audiences in mind. It doesn't look bad on the big screen per se, but it does look strange when blown up. It feels as if it's geared more towards handheld gaming, and that's a Switch's bread and butter, so I get it. Overall, I would definitely recommend checking this game out, and not just single player either. This is definitely a game you should play with friends. I give this game 4.5 out of 5 Oni. Gotta be okay.